everyone, thanks for tuning in to Alexandra Claire Hair. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Rihanna inspired look. Um, since she dyed her hair bright red, I've noticed she's been doing these messy, textured beehive looks um, and I just really wanted to give it a try. This Rihanna look is also perfect on second day hair, you know those days when you don't wash your hair so it's a little bit dirtier. So what you're going to need for this look is some dry shampoo if your hair is a little greasy, um, some dry conditioner uh, so that it doesn't look as dull. You're going to need some light holding hairspray, um, plenty of bobby pins, um, a teasing comb, a comb to smooth out your hair, and even a brush. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so since this is a second day look, um, I'm going to begin just by spraying my roots with a little bit of dry shampoo to get rid of any greasiness. And then I'll go over that with some dry conditioner just to get rid of any dullness. If you would like to add a little body or texture to your hair, I would recommend going around your head and curling the ends with a 1 inch curling iron. Remember that these curls do not have to be exact. I made them very random and didn't hold them for that long. This will just add a little extra body and texture. Okay, so I just curled my ends and it just took a few minutes because they're the ends and I don't need them to be perfect. So now I'm just going to spray them with some light holding hairspray. Okay, so this next step will take a little more patience. I'm going to begin with a small section in the front and basically I'm going to tease my hair with the teasing comb from the roots to the ends until I reach the back of my head. So this is going to take a little more patience, but all you really have to do is take your teasing comb, push it in and down in that motion, and then once you get your first section done, I would spray it with a little bit of light hairspray. Then take the next section on the top, and as you tease this, you're going to want to tease it kind of into the section that you just teased so they'll all be kind of connected. So just continue doing this section by section until you get to the back of your head. This is going to take a little bit of patience. So once you have the top of your head teased, I would smooth the top layer of it out just a little bit so it doesn't look very knotty. Okay, so once you have this smoothed out, I'm going to do the same exact thing along the sides um, in sections above my ear. These sections um, I'm teasing, but they don't have to be as extremely teased as um, the top flare was. And of course, finish off with some hairspray, and if you need to, once again, smooth it out a little bit. So next, you just want to smooth out this side of your hair with a brush, and then using bobby pins, Pin that flat hair in the center of the back of your head. So now I'm going to take a section in the front of my teased hair. And this is the hair that I'm basically going to have hanging down in the front. And I'm going to spray the back a little bit just so that I have that division line right there. And for now I'm just going to pin this hair out of my way. And once again I'm going to smooth the opposite side of my hair and taking my rat tail comb I'm just going to take this side of my hair and wrap it around until it covers the pins in the middle. Then pull the rat tail comb out and then pin your hair in place with some bobby pins. Remember that you can keep using your mirror to check for accuracy and to see if there's any other places where you can stick your bobby pins. So now that all my hair is pinned in the back, I'm just curling the section that I had in the front so it has a little bit of wave to it. I'm going to run my fingers through it so it's not a perfect curl, kind of messy. And spray it. And I'm going to go back over the beehive part because this can kind of get a little damaged as you're pinning your hair. Take uh, the tail of a rat tail comb, put it in the beehive, and pull upward or outward. Just use it to shape the beehive. 
And if you have smaller layers that are falling out, you can use bobby pins or hair pins to keep them in place. And of course, hairspray. Thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this Rihanna look. If you have any more requests for me, please send me a picture post to my Facebook page. I have the link below in the information box. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my name is Start Loving Hair. The link for that is also below in the, in the information box. And I also have a blog. The link is below, and I might put it up here too. So, hope you all liked it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, see you all next time. And don't forget, one more thing to remember is that Rihanna is not afraid of hair accessories. So, I would say, knock yourself out. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.